Hello everyone, Just Goran here and welcome back to another Planet Zoo real life inspiration video and today we're looking at the Pygmy Hippo. I was gonna do this one before the Eurasia pack came out, but then, well, the Eurasia pack came out. So here we are finally doing it. Let's get started. And we are starting off with the Zoo of Duisburg where the indoor area of the Pygmy Hippos is located in the kind of primate house, uh, like next to the gorillas, uh, which is fair enough, like you've got the, the Congo stuff a bit as a throughput, I guess, um, but it's a quite nice indoor area. We got some faux rock, we got a little pool at the front, we got a lot of glass viewing, very open, and uh, we're on the same level as the hippo. Um, yeah, overall, pretty fun. And over here at the, um, at the pool area, it is even a lot more open. We can actually, uh, we don't even have glass to look through, we can just get a unobstructed view of the pygmy hippos over here uh, and we can also see their outdoor habitat uh, right behind there so that's pretty useful as well uh, if they're outside you can even see them from this indoor area and you already know where to look for them another interesting thing is that the pool over here actually has two entrances or one entrance and one exit depending on how you look at it um, they can go in <clears throat> from one side and leave on the other uh, that's pretty nice right there. The building itself also looks pretty interesting. It goes on for quite a bit the other side because there's a lot more primates <laughs> in the primate house. Uh, but over here we have the outdoor habitat. And we can see a very simple barrier, just some hot wire really, uh, getting preventing the, the hippo from getting close to us. And then another uh, slightly more sturdy barrier over here in the front. Uh, I guess also in case the hot wire isn't <laughs> doing what it should. Then uh, in the back there, there's a bit of a pool that's part of this moat. And over here we've got a island for, I guess, some kind of monkey. I'm not sure which one exactly. I think lemurs? Uh, I'm not exactly sure how it works. Because I know that Pygmy Hippo can't get into this part of the moat, I'm pretty sure. But I don't know how the monkeys don't get out across things. But whatever. We're in the next zoo. This is Gaia Zoo. And I don't have a lot of great footage of this one, sadly. Uh, I kind of forgot to record this particular viewing area last time. I was distracted by a very nice uh, sandwich. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it's being a blink blocked by this beautiful sand sculpture. Um, but yeah, we got this cool viewing area with some underwater viewing for the Pygmy Hippo over here. It's actually a very fancy enclosure. Um, a very spacious one as well, lots of space, even the water part over here is probably the largest one in this video, so that's all pretty cool. Um, yeah, in this case the water was a little bit dirty, so you're not going to see much of the hippo, uh, but that's fine because they were on the land anyway, so we can see them over there. And yeah, the enclosure itself has all these kind of elevated bits with nice foliage on there, uh, making the habitat seem all nice and lush and jungly, which is really, really cool. And from the top you also get another approach once you enter the kind of jungle section of the zoo and, and you see kind of the same lake uh, in the back and you can see that the water goes all the way around. Uh, it's absolutely huge and yeah, there's tons uh, for you to see the hippos from. <clears throat> another viewing point even over here, even further along that path and we can see it lying over there in the distance. Um, yeah, enjoying the dry part of the enclosure, I suppose. And uh, last time I visited, the Pygmy Hippo were not in the enclosure uh, because they were cleaning it. Uh, so over here you can see what that looks like. So the moat is entirely drained. Um, you can even see the pump that was draining it. And the, <laughs> there's a broom right there, which was being used to clean it. So yeah, that was pretty, um, pretty interesting <laughs> to see as well. Always interesting to see what these enclosures look like with the most drained. But yeah, next up we have the zoo of Krefeld and uh, the Pygmy Hippo are over here in the Grosstieren house or the large animal house, which also has the elephants and the rhino. And from here also we can see the outdoor enclosure over here. Uh, but that of course is not really the main viewing point of it. That would be outside. Um, but as we continue walking through this building, uh, we get to that indoor enclosure over here, which is a bit simpler uh, than the one we saw at Duisburg. This is a much smaller zoo as well. Um, these pools only have one entrance, um, just that little staircase, but they do have uh, their own little enclosures. Like they can put the Pygmy Hippo in one of these two uh, smaller indoor enclosures. Um, I'm not sure if they, yeah, I guess they can open it up by just leaving the gates open, but yeah. It is an, uh, a way to separate them as well. Uh, it would be interesting if they also had a way to kind of open up the water parts to each other so you could have one, one bigger mode. 
as well. But yeah, this is the indoor enclosure. It's got some nice greenery around it, some natural rocks, some logs. Making it all look nice and natural. Uh, one big difference between this one and uh, the one we saw at Duisburg is that this one has kind of a concrete flooring. Whereas the one at Duisburg had some nice uh, mulch and, and uh, tree bark um, being a bit softer on their feet. I think that is something that is recommended if I do recall reading the Husband Manual way back when I built a Pygmy Hippo enclosure for, um, for Tarma Shadi Zoo, uh, Eben's project. But yeah. Uh, this is the outer closure. You can see that the body of water is currently drained, but it actually has two kind of levels uh, of, of depth. That's pretty interesting. Um, but yeah, there is not that many viewing areas for it uh, because it's all kind of overgrown over here. So you do have some kind of sneak peeks in. Um, but that's pretty much it for the zoo of Krevel. So let's move on to the next zoo, which is going to be Paradise. Paradise has this huge elaborate area, uh, which is this like African fisher village um with all these little like elevated buildings standing in the water boats uh, there are schools just all sorts of things in here um to explore and and learn about uh, it's really elaborate and and really really cool i do really like this area uh, strangely enough uh, the enclosure that the pygmy hippo are in as far as i'm aware used to be for seals or sea lions which is a little odd, but uh, yeah, no, it is a complete Pygmy Hippo enclosure nowadays. And we can actually see it already in the distance. So beyond this netting uh, is the enclosure. And yeah, you can see it's right up against this huge boat, uh, which is really, really cool. <laughs> we, we love the boat. We've seen the boat before uh, in other real life inspiration videos, I'm pretty sure. Like uh, whichever one call us like pass it uh, on the train like in the australia area i'm pretty sure we saw the boat from there as well um but yeah this is the pygmy hippo enclosure kind of in full so even more of those kind of village areas stretch on into the enclosure and yeah you've got a little beach area for them but also a huge like i guess i guess this might be the biggest <laughs> uh water section in this video i kind of forgot about this one when when we looked at uh, Zoo earlier. Uh, I forgot how absolutely huge this enclosure is as well, which is definitely not a bad thing. Um, we, we love giving our animals space. Here we can actually see a sign saying that the sea lions, or I think they're fur seals, uh, that they have moved out of this enclosure. So yeah, this is this used to be a fur seal enclosure. Uh, but yeah, here we got a nice little look at the beach area. We can see the hippo chilling in the back. And that's pretty much it for Paradise. So let's move on to the next zoo. And that's going to be Zoo Park Overloan, where we've got a very lovely little enclosure for the Pygmy Hippo as well. We've got a simple uh, little building over here. Why am I saying the word little so much? I, this is just a cute little zoo over here. <laughs> yeah, but this is the indoor area. Uh, just a shallow pool uh, to keep the hippos moist, I guess. And uh, yeah, just... Just a place for them to stay warm during the winter and such. And then over here is their outdoor enclosure. A nice natural pond. It's it's not the biggest. It's definitely big enough for them though. And uh, just a good looking enclosure in this nice lush uh, tropical seeming. Thanks to all the bamboo uh, forested area. So yeah, definitely not a bad enclosure. I'm, I'm a pretty big fan of it. Fun fact, uh, recently, uh, the past year or so, uh, they've actually been training dogs in this zoo to be able to sniff out uh, pygmy hippo. So they've been training them on the scent of, of real pygmy hippo. And those dogs have been deployed in the actual native habitat of the pygmy hippo to, to help look for them uh, and to help with the conservation of the pygmy hippo. So that's something really, really cool. The Wildlife Foundation, which is a charity organization, part of this zoo as well, the Beeksebergen, have also been raising money uh, to help with those projects. So yeah, Pygmy Hippo are actually a, a big thing here in Zoo Park Overloan. So that's really, really neat. And uh, that's pretty much all I have to show for Zoo Park Overloan. So let's go to the last zoo, which is Blydorp. I moved this one to the back since it was featured relatively recently in the real life zoo tour of Blydorp, of course. Um, but yeah, this is just a really beautiful, classic uh, enclosure. It's got a very interesting shape to it, especially this underwater viewing area over here. It is not the biggest in this video, especially with the pools and such. Um, but I don't think it's too bad for them either. Uh, it's definitely much better than uh, for being for a real hippo, which I think 
At least I've been told there was at some point a real hippo in this, but it was able to, you know, it's like stand on the edge of this, <laughs> this wall over here. So they quickly uh, decided not to have real hippo in here, <laughs> but chose for the smaller variant instead. Um, which, yeah, it's definitely a lot more suitable for that. And over here in the indoor area, uh, there's actually a lot more space even for them. Uh, this is quite a nice indoor area with a, uh, a sizable pool and a lot of space in the back as well. Some nice plants, just a, a pretty decent mix of the kind of natural elements and this beautiful, beautiful classical building over here. But yeah, that is pretty much all there is to see in Blydrop over here. So that is where we're going to wrap up this video. Uh, the only thing left to see really is a bit of education behind us over here. Like this door, these doors go to the Rhino stall, but that's not interesting for now. And it's also not something you can access or visit. But yeah, here's some education on like real hippos versus pygmy hippos and that sort of stuff. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, that's all there is to see. And that's where we're going to wrap up this video. So uh, I'm going to leave you with some cute pygmy hippo footage over here uh, as we um, end it off. So I hope you enjoyed. Uh, got some pygmy hippo inspiration out of this. And I will see you in the next Real Life Inspiration video or whatever else comes. Bye bye.